I have spent $3,289 in the last two years looking for the best bait finesse reels. And today, I'm gonna to tell you what I've found. I think the last reel that I talk about might be a surprise, so make sure you stay tuned for that. So the first one is the Daiwa Gekka Bijan. You know, it's grown on me. I didn't love it right off the bat, but I, I didn't hate it. Here's the thing, if there's any such thing as a reel being too smooth, it might be this reel. It performs great. It casts low weights. It's got a very smooth drag. It's a nice high speed retrieve. This is 8.5 to one gear ratio. A little beat up here on the side. It's got fairly sexy looks, right? I mean, if you like the black and the red, it, it, it really looks nice. But for me, it just kind of like lacks character. It's extremely well refined. Like every Daiwa reel that I've used, it's extremely easy to dial in. And in fact, that may be the best thing about the Daiwa reels is the braking system, uh, dialing it in so that you get virtually no backlashes. It seems to be easier on their reels than anything else. The, the drag on this, it's it's not super loud, you know, so it's it's, it's got this really refined sound. It almost lacks character, right? It's just such a good performing reel that there's, there's nothing to knock about it, but there's also nothing that really makes me be like, oh man, I love this reel. I could see me having a, a you know, every reel that I own being this reel, but it is fantastic. And so I bought it right around the time it came out, maybe shortly after. And so I, it, I paid 335 for it. I routinely see them used in the U.S. for around 250. Uh, so it's a it's a really good option. There's probably going to be a few reels that people are like, oh, this reel should have been on there. And hey, this is just my experience and and my opinions. The next reel is the Shimano Alta Baron. This one I got right when it came out. I got very fortunate. I wasn't on a pre-order list, but Digitaka ended up getting one in. Uh, and they had one available. I emailed them and they're like, oh yeah, we do have one. And so they sent me this one. I paid for it. All of these I paid for, by the way. It's a little touchy to dial in, but it has so much capability. It can cast lightweights extremely well. Itself is very lightweight and it's only 135 grams. This is the HG. This one's only like seven. I gotta put my glasses on here. So this one's uh, only 7.8 to one. I think the uh, XG is 8.5 to one. Maybe it's 8.9 to one now that I think about it. This, this looks great. I wasn't sure how I'd like the blue, but the blue has been fine. I have caught plenty of big fish on this. I've also caught plenty of small fish on this. It, it handles everything well. It seems like there's just enough, the, the drag, the drag is a little bit louder. It's got a little bit more sharpness to it than what the Gekka Beechin has. And just for whatever reason, this particular reel, once I got it dialed in, this one, very quickly though, the, the Alta Baron established itself to me as maybe the best all around reel. And I have used it so much more than I ever used the Gekka Beechin. I think all of these reels do things differently. So for the Gekka Beechin, you get that if you're a big Daiwa fan and you want what I think is maybe one of their best bait finesse reels that's readily available. The Alta Baron, I think you get this if you just want the best all around reel that's still relatively affordable. Uh, I, I paid around 350 for this when it came out and they're routinely below 300 right now from Japan. This one is coming to America too. So if you're the kind that of doesn't like to order from overseas and you want to order from someplace like Tackle Warehouse or get it locally, uh, it'll cost you around 450 to 470, but it is going to be available in the US and that also means that it should have the warranty covered here in the US as well. Number two, Shimano Alta Baron, maybe the best all around reel. The third reel I want to talk about is the Daiwa Silver Creek. Now I got this at the same time that I got the Alta Baron. I think of this as, as my favorite trout setup, right? And so I have it on a short fiberglass rod. I have caught, I think this reel, so it's interesting. I think of it as a trout reel, right? Uh, it's got a, a really nice sounding drag. It might be one of the best sounding drags on the market. In fact, when I had this memory of catching a very nice smallmouth bass, when I was doing the review for the Alta Baron, I thought that I caught that bass on the Alta Baron because I, I remember the way the drag sounded. It was actually caught on this reel. And so while I think of the Silver Creek as a trout rod because it's the most accurate, the most repeatable casting reel that I've ever used. I love the way it feels. It's got old school looks. I, I kind of like that and it, it pairs up really nice with this rod. When I started thinking about this video, not only did this reel catch at least two of my personal best rainbows, and I think it actually has my personal best brook trout as well, it also landed my personal best largemouth bass. Oh my gosh. It's really a great reel. 
The only thing it gives up a little bit, it's not as smooth as all of the other reels on this list. So there, there is just a little bit more feeling in the, in the cast and the retrieve. And it gives up some distance. And because while the Gekka Bijan has the air type system where the rotor moves in and out and it's, it's an active braking system, the, the Silver Creek has a fixed rotor. It really is designed to be a small trout stream reel and it does that extremely well. But it's still got the, the guts to, to really hang with the bigger fish too. The Daiwa Silver Creek, again, it's a phenomenal reel and it's the first thing that I grab when I go trout fishing. So the next reel is the Shimano Calcutta Conquest BFS. This is maybe the most beautiful reel that I've ever owned. From the very first cast, I was hooked on this. The round feeling, I really like the way it feels. It's heavier than the other reels. I mean, it's if it's not 50, it's like in the 35% heavier, but it's it's all this machined metal. It's just, it's it's almost artwork uh, compared to, to just a tool that you use to go fishing. I've caught some nice smallmouth bass on this. I've caught, I caught three species of trout the first time I had it out. I've thrown it on rods down to five foot three. I've got it on a seven foot rod right now. To me, this might be the ultimate bait finesse reel out there. It just does everything re really well. Although it shares a lot in common with the Aldebaran, this seems to be so much more refined. The braking is easier to dial in. Yeah, it's $400, right? So, and you have to order it from Japan. If I could afford it, I could see myself maybe having just all these because it's that good. I don't think that that extra weight would really be that big of a deal. It's still lighter than most conventional reels. And, you know, and when we're talking about, about you know, rods, you know, ideally you're trying to, to, to balance the rod so that it's at, at its center point, it's just gonna stay balanced. And so when you put a reel on it, it pretty much gonna still stay balanced if it's a well-designed rod. To me, it, my first reaction is, I couldn't afford to have seven or eight of these at almost $400 a pop. But then I think, well, if I just would have just bought this to begin with and just spent all the money I had on these, I could have bought eight of these instead of 20 reels, you know? But had I done that, I wouldn't be convinced that this is quite arguably the best bait finesse reel in the world that you can get. Reel number five, I think is a little bit of a surprise, but I had to mention it because it just, it, it has really caught me off guard. And that is the Abu Garcia ALC BF7. This reel was released in 2016. I managed to find a new old stock one, I think sometime late spring, early summer, and I just wanted to try it out. It's, it's got a different braking system than a lot of them just because it has a lot more adjustment and flexibility with the magnets. Had I known that Abu Garcia was gonna be bringing the Xenon to America, I, I, I might have bought the JDM Xenon to try it out. Honestly, I think I'm glad that, that I bought this one instead because this thing has been amazing. Now, I haven't tried it with really light weight. I don't expect that it would be a, a great performer down below like one and a half to two grams. But for everything that's sort of like your normal bait finessing up, this thing has been amazing. It's a smooth reel. It's one of the longest casting reels I've ever had. In fact, every once in a while when I go to cast this, after using some of the other reels, I, I gotta remind myself like, oh wait a minute, this thing really launches it. Like I'll get an extra 10 to 15 feet on the same lure with just with, with this reel. But the other thing that sets it apart is it is so smooth. My brother-in-law used this recently. He told me when I, when I saw him a week later, he's like, I went out looking for an Abu Garcia reel because that thing was so darn smooth. And he just couldn't find anything in the US market that feels anything like this. This reel is smooth, but it still has character. The downside is, you know, it's a seven year old reel. They're harder to find. But if you can find one of these, I think it's, it's one of the top five bait finesse reels I've ever used. And so it, it, it might be worth tracking it down. And on the plus side, you might be able to get one, especially if you're left-handed, the right-handed ones are harder to find. But if, if you like the left-handed reels, you might be able to pick it up for around two, 200 to maybe 225 on eBay. This one has been a pleasant surprise. Sometimes you do get what you pay for. And from my experience, uh, buying everything from a $50 reel up to a $400 reel, you know, that I could get my hands on, you do get a decent return for your money if you're gonna fish a lot. Like if you're a casual person, that's it's probably fine. I still have a lot of the less expensive reels. I mean, when I look around, I got one, two, three, you know, I've got plenty of reels I'm still putting into service. These are just the five best ones that I've had. And they all happen to be JDM. 
And like I said, that Shimano Aldebaran, it is gonna be available here in North America sometime really soon. W within a few weeks of this video coming out, it, it should be readily available. That's it. If you're wanting to know like what's the best reel, you don't have to go spend all this cash, right, to figure it out. I, I think these five are very solid recommendations and I tried to give you maybe specific use cases for some of them, or if you're just all around, I, I still think this is the best deal. Let me know in the comments, what's your favorite reel? Did I talk about it? Did I miss something? Is there something that I should have tried? Now, I didn't tell you what the 20 some reels were that I've, that I've tried. Where, where do you think I missed it? Did I leave your favorite off and give me a compelling reason to give it a try?